Oh yeah, working on the Nova today. Beautiful day out here. Um, if you can hear it running in the background, head started up real quick. Hasn't been running in a while. You know, yeah, doing some body work and stuff like that on it, and I'll, uh, I'll turn the camera around and show you guys and give you guys a glimpse of what I've been doing. Um, I know I haven't been on YouTube a lot. I've been dealing with some family stuff, and my son came down sick, and all that kinds of crap starting to get we're starting to get over it so everybody's doing better here but um yeah got the nova running in there i'll show you guys what i've been doing like i said I've been doing some body work but um, yeah i'll turn the camera on we'll go in get the shot of the mini cups Excuse my mess in here, guys. Working on the quarter panel. Uh, primed over the top. There was some spots there that was messed up and I fixed. Not much going on. Haven't did a whole lot. But. I'll shut this thing off so you guys can hear me. All right, guys. So, yeah. Been doing some work there. I got to finish that up. I got to take the wheel off, fix a hole in the wheel well. So, that's what I've been doing, guys. I haven't been doing, doing a whole lot. Get them. Finally got the morning Carlo up in there. Thing needs a lot of help. Sides point. But beautiful day out here. There's a Subaru. Just got done washing it uh, yesterday, making it look good. Give you guys a quick walk around a bit. I eventually, I was gonna do it today, but didn't get around to do it. Gonna be bringing it up off the tires just a little bit because it rubs like I you wouldn't believe rubs really bad. I mean, as you guys can get a good glimpse. <clears throat> and the tire's just about touching the fender, so. Can't even stick my finger up in that. <laughs> but, love the little car. It goes good. Took it to the coast a few weeks ago and driven down the coast with it. and Went really good. Really well. some body work to do on this one right there someone's already did some repair work but thinking about buying a new quarter for it I'm fixing it this uh this spring i know i gotta put new rocker panels on the outside needs rockers pretty bad but for the summer can't tell because the side skirts for the summer i'm gonna run it <laughs> Even without an inspection sticker, I don't give a shit. Cops haven't really been bothering anybody with inspection. At least me, anyway. Two of my vehicles don't have inspection. <laughs> As I say that, and I probably have a cop that watches my channel. <laughs> oh, shit. Now I gotta get after the old Chevy, too. I gotta fix that. I got a lot of work this summer. I gotta put new quarters on here. Just put some fairly decent tires on it. Um, got to fix this quarter panel. Getting a little bad. And I got a spot on the frame. Well, it's not on the frame. It's it's under there. It's a boxed-in piece anyway that that uh, is rotted out and it holds a round tube to one side of the frame to the other. But yep. We'll come back here to the mini cups.
this one is all ready to go. Mine, last year, I blew a motor. Um, <laughs> I'm not blaming nobody, you know, but I'll talk about it. On mine, uh, last year, it started making a tapping noise in the motor and didn't think nothing of it. You know, I just, you know, I run it and... I was practicing with it down the speed, at Speedway 95 track here in New England. And uh, it was making a noise, losing power, going around the small oval. That's what they race the go-karts on the small oval down the Speedway. Started losing power, and I, uh, I just run a few more laps with it. And uh, it just shut off. So... Bring it back home. I don't know. I left it over the winter a few weeks ago. I, uh, a few weeks ago, I uh, tore the motor apart and had probably about an inch gap between the rod cap and the rods. Somebody, I guess, or they rattled loose. I don't know. But I'm thinking that somebody didn't get the rod cap tight. It was so loose I could move the rod cap and the, the rod away from each other for about an inch, a half an inch of play. And so I I tore everything apart. It didn't hurt the crank, so that was good. Um, and I put it all back together, and uh, she started smoking. When I had it running, no power, smoking like hell. You couldn't stay behind it. You couldn't even stay in the garage, smoking so damn bad. And it shut off on me motor locked up so I tore it apart again and uh, had a um, busted oil ring the oil ring was making the piston to fetch up inside the bore so now I got to have the piston wall probably I, I got a bore not a boring tool I got a homing tool that I can home the piston wall out and I'm going to go get a new set of rings and st shit like that. Hopefully it didn't hurt the piston or anything. A uh, buddy of mine is going to uh, be doing that work for me. And anybody sees that runs in the Mini Cup League saying you can't work on your own car, you know, you have to have somebody in the Mini Cup League do it. That's what I was been told. Somebody in the Mini Cup League has to uh, do the engines for you. I think that's a crock of crap. Um, but... Yeah, so I'm gonna have to have the motor resealed. So, but it ain't gonna be nothing special. It's just gonna be stock parts going back in it. So, but I gotta get it fixed, and I don't want to pay four hundred and thirty dollars for a motor. I mean, it's not bad, but I can get the parts to fix my motor cheaper. So, that's what I'm gonna do. So, yeah, so that's for what I've been up to. Really. And uh, I, you know, put my weed tent up. <laughs> uh, yeah, gonna be grow gonna be building a little garage type thing down below my property to put the mini cup cars in, so they're not outside. So, so that's been up to you guys. I haven't done much, just mess around with junk and mini cup cars and stuff like that. We're supposed to be. My cousin, we're supposed to be taking his little mini cup, I guess, to uh, Richmond Speedway in Richmond, Maine. I want to go down? He wants to go down there and run it. So I'm gonna, when he gets his truck going, we're gonna go down and we're going to uh, run it. See how he does down there. So you guys, uh, I'm gonna cut this video a little short. It's probably five, six minutes long already, but. Um, don't forget to uh, like, share, and subscribe, and uh, comment if you guys wish. Just no, no negative stuff. Um, or if you want to write some negative stuff, whatever. And don't bother me any. Uh, but um, just keep it polite on the comments. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. And have a great afternoon.